Five-year-old Pacers lined up field of nine for the sixth and feature race. The richest four-leaf Clover Series final ever, $174,000 wide open field. Here they come. And they're off, and from between horses, that's Garrick firing out for Dave Miller. Sinbad from between horses also trying to leave. Carolina Rich on the inside, a bit of early speed, and Campbell wheeling Art de Triumph up on the outside. Around the first turn, and it's Garrick right to the front for Dave Miller as uh, Sinbad tucks in for Brennan. Here comes Art de Triumph up into third on the outside. Carolina Rich got away fourth. At the quarter, it's Ribbon Man in the fifth spot. Motor City Smitty reserved off the pace in sixth. Brioso Hanover is seventh. False Alarm is eighth. And H.R. Sosa is ninth. First quarter, pretty hot, 27-1 in the mud and rain. And here comes Campbell with Art de Triomphe to take charge down the backstretch. Garrick is now racing in second. Here comes Carolina Rich up to make a bid with Pierce. That one grinding now into third on the outside. Sinbad is fourth. Gap at two. Ribbon Man getting whip taps in the fifth spot. Taking to the outside. Then it's Motor City Smitty. Two lengths to Brioso Hanover. And then it's False Alarm. His entry made. And still trailing is H.R. Sosa. Now they lock up at the half in 54 and 4. Art de Triomphe. And Carolina Rich takes aim on the outside. Second on the final turn. Garrick is in the pocket. That's a ribbon man. Now as they approach three quarters, he is well positioned. Second over, looking to come three wide for Luke. As a Sinbad looks for racing room, he is buried on the inside. To the outside, Motor City Smitty, he is trying to rally. And shaking loose late now, false alarm between horses. Far outside, Brioso Hanover, way back, 123 and 3 in the stretch now. Art to trail, Campbell out with a whip, rocking, whipping, driving. Art to trail, trying to take it here and on the outside. Here comes Garrett taking dead aim out of the pocket for Miller, trying to get to Art to trail. Here's dead game on the outside. Garrett is trying to get to him, and then it's back to Sinbad to the wire, and it's Garrett. Garrett gets it. Garrett with the outside over Art to trail. Sinbad was closing well, 152 and 3. Number five, Garrig, a four-year-old bay gelded son of Cam's card shark out of Waterwell by Jate Lobel. Owned by the MJG Racing Stables and Hillview Enterprises of New Jersey. The trainer, Luca Dorico, and the winning driver, Dave Miller. 152-3, and three, his second win this season. Garrig, his claim to fame as a three-year-old defeating the horse of the year Gallo Blue Chip in the Provincial Cup winning over three hundred and sixty eight thousand dollars last year with a mark of 150 and two here at the Big M pulls off the upset tonight in the Four Leaf Clover final Post time for the seventh race in 14 minutes at 9.34. And there are no changes in the seventh race. The open pace, exacta, trifecta, pick three, seven, eight, and nine. Race eight, scratch nine, final cheers, sick. No changes in race nine. Making our winner circle presentation, Matthew Woods. Welcome to the Big M. Big group in the winner's circle here representing the MJG Racing Stables enjoying a night here at the Big M tonight on St. Patrick's Day along with Hillview Enterprises as Garrick pulls the upset in the Four Leaf Clover Final. Garrick received a month refresher after his victory over Gallo Blue Chip in the Provincial Cup and has been working his way back into form after battling a thousand dollars in January. <laughs> When you beat uh, uh, Gala Blue Chip in December, you probably had uh, you maybe a little bit high at that point, thinking maybe we'll get a lot of these coming up, but it, it was a little bit of a wait, wasn't it? 
Well, yeah, we we, uh, we raced really well in the Provincial Cup, and it was to beat a tough horse, Galabuchip, the horse of the year. But we knew we had a very good horse, and we have s uh, scheduled ourselves to be here. We even took the presidential suite, my partner and I, Mike Alata. So uh, we knew that we were going to have a real good chance to win this race. A little extra sweet, considering the Motor City Smitty used to be in the barn? Uh, very sweet. You know, I uh, leave it up to the genius Luca to make those decisions, and uh, he's done it again. So. Okay, Luca Rico. <laughs> Luca Rico's here with us. Luca, you were uh, talking this week. You, uh, you said you were pretty confident going in, and you backed it up pretty good. Well, you know, when the horse drew a good spot, he's got terrific gate speed, and, you know, if we could line everybody up and get a good trip, I thought he had a terrific chance. Last year, when did you get Garrick? Uh, right after uh, Hamiltonian Day, after the Holmes, I believe. We bought him right after that race. Okay, now when you got Garrick, he, he improved almost immediately. Uh, tell us about coming back at four. Uh, the race in uh, Canada, the Provincial Cup, really took a lot more out of him than I thought, and I, maybe we should have given him a little more time off, and he had a little lung infection. We got that cleared up in the last few weeks. He's been very good. Do you think he beat Motor City Smitty in your heart of hearts tonight? <sighs> I know he's capable of it. You know, I think he's capable of beating any horse in North America out of a detention barn uh, situation. What about where does he go from here? Uh, he'll get a month off, and then I guess the Classic Series comes up. Okay, congratulations. The four-leaf clover finals in. The richest ever. Gehrig has won it for the MJG, Hill Farm, Luca DeRico, and Dave Miller.